Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzleforest and welcome back to Cube World, where we are back in the dark Rorio Woods. Now I've been finding that in the dark Rorio Woods you can actually find all of these um, all of these checkpoints, as it were, on the map. They're really easy to find because they make a little a little tiny weeny white dot on the map. Uh, so this one's got a white dot as you can see, that one's got a white dot next to that, so there's that one over there. Which means that if you look around the map like this, you can actually find them quite easily. It looks like there might be one... Uh, that's a tree, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tree. Yeah, well, I am mistaken. But there is one there, that's blatantly obvious. So, uh, I might be able to find them in other maps as well, like that might be one there. So yes, it's actually quite easy to find them if you, if you look a little bit. Uh, anyway, we're going to try and get the Crown of Chumi, uh, which increases my swimming speed. Uh, so let's head over that way. We're going into a mine. I've been carefully going through this uh, area trying to improve my, uh, my character equipment. Lots and now we've actually got a, a good staff. We've got a couple of uh, gold items here and a couple of uh, purple items here So we're currently on purple um, strength uh, But uh, we'll see how we can how we can do in here if we manage it. I've got plenty of life potions So hopefully that'll help me get through We'll have to see I'd, I've never taken on one of these mines before so it's completely different Aye aye do I actually need a bell to get in here? I need a bell to get in here, do I? No, 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 I don't. I've already got the thing that I need to get in here. Brilliant. Okay, so it's the um, it's the harp. Awesome. I'm glad for that. <laughs> I could have easily have needed more, but no. Mm. Underground. Oh, they're all green. Well, that's easy. Green is incredibly easy to deal with. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. In that case, I will take out all of the green folk. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Well, this is going to be considerably easier than I thought. If it's if it's just full of green folk, then uh, then they've had it. No chance. Total total massacre of the uh, of the green character. I, I bet it's not. I bet what happens is that this beginning bit's green, and then I'll go into another bit, and it'll be like everybody's everybody's yellow difficulty but in the meanwhile we will increase the mass of gold that we've been collecting it's somewhat unnerving when they're all sort of facing the back wall and, and not attacking me creepy <laughs> anyway this looks like a dungeon I mean the uh, with the with those balls and chains next to the wall it looks like they've been uh, they've been storing people up so they deserve to be uh, to be taught a lesson in politeness. They've also got uh, the chains on the wall to hang people up. Yeah, not very nice business at all. All right, is that another one? There's one hiding next to a post. If they like all run towards you at the beginning, then it would be a little bit more sort of easy to deal with, rather than being. Scary because they're all just stood around lingering. All right, another green one. This is supposed to be a yellow area. Where are all of the really difficult enemies as I was expecting? Oh, I had to ask, didn't I? Okay, so that's one of those. Um, it's sort of a green boss. There you go. Very easily murdered. Excellent. Loads of coins. Ah, no plus items. That's a shame. I think that one of my ones is a plus one. Let's have a look and make sure that I've actually got a plus one. Because if I had a plus one for the next area... Uh-oh. Have I not got a plus one for the next area? I haven't. Okay. All right. Well, let's deal with that next time. Because uh, next time we might be moving into the um, icy zone that's next to this one. So we'll definitely need a plus one of some variety not just a green one I don't want to just go in there with a green one again this time that was most unhelpful <laughs> I was too eager right 
We're, we're on to the blue enemies, the dark blue enemies. As opposed to the easier enemies. They're still just standing there, wondering what we're doing. But... They're easily dispatched. Very easily dispatched. There we go. Some more. Again, they're just standing there. That's somewhat creepy. I don't know if the uh, AI's just died in here, but, you know... <laughs> probably not. I just suspect that they're just... standing around for some reason. Don't walk away! Yes, take on the might of the battle sheep! <laughs> okay. Get to it, battle sheep. Brilliant. I like my sheep. I'm really pleased with my sheep. I don't know what's, uh, what the best animal is to have. If you know which animal is better than the sheep, then uh, please tell me. I'd be quite happy to find another another animal. I've got a lot more of the uh, the pet items now. Now, which way? Oh dear, they both look so tempting. Uh, okay, let's go this way for now. I hope this isn't like back where we came from. No, that's not back where we came from. It's okay. I have got the right area. Look at these dark corridors. Oh, hi. Platforms. I this I did not expect. All right. What happens if you fall down there? Ooh, it looks like a long distance. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, maybe over there. Maybe I should have gone there to start with. Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh no. Good. <laughs> Luckily, I have the climbing crampon thing, so I can just get straight up again if I uh, if I mess up these jumps. All right, let's go straight to there. Brilliant. Hmm. I think I'll teleport out of this zone. There's no way I'm planning on walking out of it with those things around. Jumping puzzles. I'm so terrible at jumping puzzles. That's why it's so it's it's really fortunate that you can just do that. It's another bit missing over there. Ah, I didn't expect traps. What's this? Are you just a, just an alpha dog? Dealt with. And another one dealt with. They should really be patrolling. I think that would. A banana split. I've obviously already got a banana split. Ooh, banana split. I do like the idea of banana split. <laughs> They're very nice. I, I quite often have a banana milkshake. Which I make via the adding of banana to milk um, and sugar. Uh, but uh, yeah, a banana split's not something that I make much. I used to make them occasionally. Very nice indeed. It's strange because um, banana flavouring is nothing like actual banana, really. So uh, I, I really like to use the actual proper ingredients for these sorts of things. I think the banana split has to have banana in it, so yeah. <laughs> How could I miss with that? Get him. Brilliant. Okay. Done. Another one. Another one finished. Our uh, all powerful, mighty um, spell of fire. Oh, heck, there's two doors now. That looks like it's locked until something's murdered. Is it you? No? Okay. Who is it? Oh, it was him. Interesting. So I wasn't allowed to go through there at all until, uh, until that. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Hmm. I think we're well underground. Ah! We can't go through here because we haven't got the spirit, spiritual thing or, or we haven't taken down some, some sort of device to make the barriers open or something like that. I know that there is something that does that. But the fact that I know where this place is now means that it's a lot easier. Oh! Purple rocklings! Alright. So they've let us get this far. And now we're on to the purple stuff. This is the bit where I got more chance of being murdered by things. A considerably more chance of being murdered by things. Go away, bats. Thank you. A lot of the animals and stuff don't really drop drop stuff as much as 
items. They don't really drop items as much as um, as actual characters do. So you can miss out on uh, on the itemry with these sorts of things. They're more likely to drop something for the uh, for a new pet or uh, something like that. Most likely just coins, though. Oh, that's a bookcase. Okay. I don't need to murder the bookcase. Unless it's a suspicious bookcase, but I think it's okay. Oh, heck. Nah, I don't want to defeat that sort of thing. That's big and mean. On its way, it is. That's it, sheep. Take care of it. Deal with the monster. Here. Take that. Fireballs. Uh-oh. Talking about fireballs. No, you don't. I am not going to die. Deal with the battle sheep. <laughs> oh, he, he did. I've got to be really careful because if that if if my battle sheep dies, then I'm the only target, and that's that's definitely not a good thing. Right. Can we deal with this guy? I got used to those. Uh, those you know those things that he's using. I've got used to those now. I know that they're not so, not as bad as I first thought. Oh, hello, battle sheep. Thanks for returning. I need you here, not uh, not in pieces over there. Okay. Ooh, hello. Mike, close. Thank you, doggy. Get out of here. Right. More coins. More suspicious-looking bookshelves. Let's go over here. We're going quite a distance now. I mean, look at how far we've got from that place. It may not look like a long way, but it really is. Uh, oh, a chest. This better not be gold. Ah, it's the, uh, it's, you received the crown of Chumi. Awesome. Okay, so it wasn't behind the spirit door thing, and it wasn't in the, the other passageway, which was right back at the beginning, so I'm not going to get into that. Fascinating. Okay, but uh, me and the battle sheep, we're going to have to head to another place because we can't really get back that way very easily. I do wish that this map wouldn't zoom in every time I try to get near it. Aha! This is where I planned. It's mines of Langor. So we've got the mines of Kursen, and now we've got the mines of Langor, which is an increased swimming speed thing. Was this an increased swimming speed? It was. So we bo we both of these are increased swimming speed. I should actually find out what the swimming speed is to begin with before I go and uh, go and grab more increased swimming speed. But we're grabbing the increased swimming speed. So yes. What does it say anyway? Uh, swimming speed is now plus one. I'm guessing it was 50% and now it's 52%. So it'll be 54% by the time we get this, which takes us from level 3 to level 4. It's been a long while, me going from, uh, from like, level 0 to, uh, to these, these higher levels. It's really taken me quite some time. Right. Mainly because I have to clear most of an area to, to do it. Ah, this one's not even got a closed door. How interesting. Okay, I didn't have to use the, uh, the 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 wonderful and pretty harp to to get in here. Oh, they need better maintenance. There's some grass growing through the uh, the carpet here. That's no good. Okay, again, it looks like caves, and the enemies are just standing there in the darkness, staring. Wondering what's, uh, what sort of intruders coming into their their minds. Okay, is there anybody, anybody else around? No. Hang on. It all looks much lighter if you stand in one of those beams. <laughs> hmm. Actually, that shouldn't be the case because your eyes tend to make it so that when you're standing in a, a light place like that, they adjust and, uh, and everything looks much darker around you. So that's quite... Uh, that's not quite how your actual vision would work, but uh, I, I wouldn't expect that anyway. Hello there, mage. Uh-oh. I didn't see you. <laughs> These 
busy eating my feet, and uh, that's not very helpful. Okay, let's have one of these. Because I can have that wherever I want and just sit there and eat it. Whereas the uh, the other the potions I try to save for when I'm on the move. You don't you don't want to be um, wasting your potions. I don't know how many times I've run out of potions, which is really not helpful. Because everything else you have to sit there and eat it, which isn't good. We should have a torch out, really. Oh, somehow it's reset my bindings again. Yeah, it's reset my bindings. I don't know why, but it seems to be resetting my bindings quite a lot. I don't, I, I don't get it. I can always, uh, I can always change it. If either that or I've done it, which is also entirely possible. I'm very good at going into menus and messing around with things, and not realizing that I've just set something that I'd previously set to something useful to something completely useless. There's a lot of pillars around here. Obviously, this ceiling's incredibly heavy. It needs a lot of support. Right. So we didn't go, we didn't find anything that way. Which means there must be something over here. And I don't know if there was two, two entrances from the main place over there. I can't remember. Probably not, right? You would hope. Hmm. They just built it straight into this wall. Okay. Give me something good. Something nice and, and a plus item would be good. Uh, nothing. Something for a completely different character. I say, so I can't go that way. Which means that I really need to find this thing to shut down these spiritual barriers because they uh, there's two of them that are really stopping us from getting anywhere in these uh, in these big dungeons. And I'd be very surprised if those weren't sort of important places to go to. Aye aye. Did he just fall to his doom or what? No. What's this? Is this water? Is it death? How am I to know this? Hmm. Well, I hope it's not death because I don't want to die. I think we just go around. I don't get it. Let's just see and find out. Oh, wonderful. Because it wasn't difficult the last time. There we go. Brilliant! We did it first time. Excellent. I so hope I'm going the right way. If not, then uh, there's not much I can do about it. Oh, hi. He didn't even wait for me to, to get in the room properly. Just as soon as I walk in the room, I'm, I'm shot at. Alright. I do like it when you KO them so that you can that you can have a little bit of space before they uh, they continue their attack. A ranger item and, a, and a something else. No good. Not what we want. As uh, as long as it's not wizard stuff, then it's uh, it's no good to us. Whoa! It looks like a disco for skeletons, with all of the lights flashing. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. It's going to take me a while to get rid of all these. The skeletons really don't tend to drop much of interest. Aha! Oops. Hello. Another... Oh, wow, there's loads of them. Still, they drop coins. And uh, the more coins I get, the more coins I have. I can roll around in coins like Scrooge McDuck. Hmm. It's not going to be helpful, but you know. I've got 9,000 coins now. I've, I have managed to get the um, enough gnomes in this area that I think I can buy purple items and, and possibly yellow items. So I do need to check out the store to see if there's any uh, any good plus items that I could use right from there. But I've only found one village in this area. Usually I find two villages in every area, at least so far. But no, this this place only one. Whereas actually, the desert I found three uh, three villages in, but one of the villages was one of those um, villages where the the locals have been uh, petrified. And as far as I know, what you do to the uh, the villages when they're petrified is you find a witch in the area and annihilate the witch in the area, and that unpetrifies all of the people. However. I can't prove that because I've never actually done it. 
I've only ever found the area full of uh, petrified people and not, uh, and not the witch who's been responsible. Alright. Let's go this way. Into the darkness with a very, 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 very inefficient light. Hmm. Continuing up the stairs. It's weird to be going up in one of these places. I mean, so far, we were, in the other place, we were just going down all the time. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ooh, you have to be so careful with the lava. You really do. Because that if you, if you land in that stuff, you've had it. Ogres. Okay. I think our little sheep's had it. I think our little sheep fell in the lava. Oh, hello. Obviously used his own climbing material to get up there as well. Well done, battle sheep. Oh, heck. Hmm, okay. So, actually, technically, these can't get to us. You don't have a method in here. And my battle sheep is impenetrable to, uh, by, by lava. That's good to know. <laughs> the invincible battle sheep continues. Okay. Have you just burned to a crisp? Was I, was I too early on saying that? Yeep. There we go. Okay, we can get up here or we can go over there. There I don't really want to go to for some reason. I think it's something to do with the burning death in the floor, but, you know. It's it's a long way of burning death, that is. I don't really fancy that. Now, who's about? Oh, it's a rockling. It looks like a statue. All right, rockling. No, you don't. Charging up an attack at me. Huh. All right. More fire. Get in, battle sheep. Good work. Excellent. You have earned your grass pay. <laughs> Although the only grass around here is this dark blue stuff, so it's probably not like that. All right. More fire from above. It really does pay to get rid of these sorts of things as quickly as possible because the gold, the the, uh, the yellow ones can be quite tough. I was very afraid of them when I was still wearing um, only sort of blue equipment, and I was I was firing with a a gold one, so I was taking on the more difficult things, but uh, at the same time, very scared that they might get close and just uh, destroy me immediately. Which is quite often the case when they're uh, when they've got higher level equipment than you. Right. Hmm. This is getting close to a border. In fact, it's almost o it's o it's over the border, which means that our equipment's going to be useless in here. Currently, we're all right, but uh, as soon as I step over that border, I won't be able to do it at all. So we'll just have to see how far we get. Ah. Alright. More lava. I think we're going to step over a border soon. I really do. Sorry, sheep. You're on your own. Hmm. That's a spirit barrier, so we can't get through there. I'm really worried about going over those borders. Okay. Let's try to stay on this side. It really is, literally, you just step over the border and then suddenly you're useless, so... Uh, I don't want to step over that border if I can avoid it. Ooh, that was good. All those bats in one go. Three bats, brilliant. Okay. Please don't kill me. Please don't let me step over a border. I want the, I want the, the chest to be in this room, if possible. Alternatively, it might have been in that the other passageway. Ow! Or, alternatively, I might be killed by the room full of bats. Hmm. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's also all the time I've got for now, so I shall have to come back to this and the room full of deadly bats in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.